My husband didn't know that I've secretly tested his seed, because he's not planting a growing human inside me, but when I told him the truth, he's treated me like crap. My husband, 31 meters, and I, 33 feet, have been together for four years, married for one year. Last summer, when we got married, we decided to try for a baby, and I stopped my birth control. I already have a daughter, almost seven years old, from my previous relationship. This relationship lasted nine years and unfortunately ended six months after she was born because I caught my ex in an affair that had been ongoing for almost a year. It wasn't hard to get pregnant, I got pregnant within a month after quitting birth control. However, carrying the pregnancy to full term was difficult, as I had six miscarriages before my daughter. One evening, when my now husband, boyfriend, daughter, and I were at my mom's place for dinner, the topic of kids came up. My mother jokingly said to be ready because I get pregnant fast after stopping the pill. I don't know how, but the talk turned to how it actually happens that women get pregnant while on the pill. My husband said he didn't believe it would happen if you didn't forget to take it. He had two long relationships before, and it never happened that they were late or anything like that. Yes, this seems ridiculous to remember, but wait. So, fast forward to last summer, I stopped birth control at the beginning of June. I'm not in my mid-twenties anymore, so I didn't think much of it when October came and I still wasn't pregnant. Maybe my body needed longer to adapt or something. Still, at the end of October, I went to the hospital and got everything checked. I'm fine, fertile, and absolutely able to get pregnant normally. I wanted to bring this up to my husband, to get him checked out too. Then our world crashed. My daughter was involved in a horrible accident and passed away one week later. We did our best to support each other, which didn't always work out how we wanted it to. We fought a lot, cried even more, ignored each other, and loved again. I'm sure some might know the roller coaster. We both still go to therapy and finally, almost a year later, we don't break down in tears anymore while remembering something about her. I even managed to give away one of her toys last week to the neighbor's kid. That's a huge thing, keep in mind that her room is still the same as when she left for school that morning. All this time, our minds weren't set on getting pregnant, but I also didn't start birth control again. We did have intimacy on a regular basis. Don't judge us here, we were really trying to keep at least that connection while it felt like we were losing each other in the grief. It helped us become closer again and reminded us that we loved each other. The more I thought about it, the weirder it seemed that I still wasn't pregnant yet. I bought a home test for male fertility. I secretly got some of his seed in the jar and did all the steps for the testing. It doesn't give an exact result. It just gives positive for when there are enough cells to be considered fertile or negative when there are not. The test came out negative. I did the same thing again two weeks later. Again, negative. I brought it up several times to get him tested at the hospital, which every time resulted in, we're just stressed, of course, it won't happen. Now we got into an argument two days ago. We were both in a bad mood from work, so the vibe wasn't great to begin with. He talked about a baby room he saw online that looked pretty, and I said again that he should get himself an appointment at the hospital, that we might need help to get our wish fulfilled. He said that there was nothing wrong with him and blamed it on stress. At that point, I rolled my eyes and was even more annoyed than I already was when coming home. I stood up and ended the conversation with, I need to go to the store tomorrow to buy tampons because I will need them this weekend. He commented, you're always so negative, no wonder it won't happen. I just replied with, I home tested you. Twice. You can't. It won't happen. But sure, no one needs doctors, it's just stress. He looked as if he was hit by a truck. He started yelling, later on crying. I get that I shouldn't have brought it up that way. Now he's calling me a schlong for even having the audacity to home test him without telling him. Did I go too far? Relevant comments. I feel incredibly sorry for what you and your family have been through and I don't think you were entirely wrong for home testing him. However, you're in the wrong because you brought it up in the most terrible, backhanded, nasty, mean way possible. You should have handled it delicately, but instead, you threw a gigantic issue in his face and told him in the worst way that it's his fault. If I was him, I'd probably think about your comment every single time I thought about my future kid. Update. Okay. First of all, thank you to the people who had some genuine advice. To answer some of the questions, it is not a money thing. My husband makes seven figures a year. I obviously don't, but I still earn a nice pay. I was, and still am, certain that he did not have a vasectomy. To those who demanded that I send the documents to prove that my daughter died, I will not send them. To those who judge me for grieving wrong because I'm sometimes stressed from work, my job saved me from drowning. It gave me a purpose, a reason to get up in the morning and kick myself into breathing again. Don't come at me with how I should be ashamed of myself for not grieving the right way when you have no idea how it feels to be dying on the inside, daily, over and over again. 
To the I hope he gets all in the divorce people, I'm sorry to disappoint you all. Unless someone cheated, we have a prenup. I would walk out well provided for, because contrary to some assumptions, I am a good wife. No, the cheating clause isn't there because one of us did already, we have it because his mother cheated on his father and walked away with millions for being unfaithful. We went to therapy again and obviously brought this situation up. Yes, I'm the asshat for bringing it up during a fight. However, he even admitted he might have done the same if it was reversed. Apparently, he also noticed that I still wasn't pregnant and was honestly just scared that it would really be his fault. He always wanted a family and kids, and it became more and more clear to him that something wasn't right. He was too afraid to get it tested, fearing I would leave if he was indeed sterile. I will not. Good and bad times, we promised each other that, and for some, that actually has a meaning. We did the home test again, together, with the right collecting methods. Unfortunately, it came back negative. He has made an appointment at the clinic and can go there in two weeks to get his seat checked properly. Sorry that it isn't the most exciting update, but it is what it is. We will still continue our therapy and work on healing together. Thank you to those with real advice, and I wish you all the best in your life.